Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having my favorite breakfast burrito alongside a chicken cob salad. So let's dig right in because I'm starving. All right, so I just wanna drizzle on the ranch for my salad. This is the first time I've ever had a salad on my channel, you guys, because I honestly wasn't much of a salad advocate. But the past couple weeks, I've been feeling like I've I've been craving salads. It's so strange. Like this has never happened in my life. And <laughs> I think because my body is like craving and like needing greens, but I do eat a lot of veggies. Like when I'm not doing mukbangs, I always need to have a veggie in my dish. But yeah, I actually did my, I was like, I'm gonna eat a salad and hopefully I can make it look good because you know, I try to make everything look good, but salads are salads. And I have here um, the siete, and that's how you pronounce it. They're hot sauce, they're habanero hot sauce. I had this um, delivered from Amazon Fresh because that's how I um, get my groceries because I'd be lazy sometimes. But, oh my gosh, I've been obsessed with this. It's so freaking amazing. It's actually not too spicy as you would think, but the flavors are just like, it's so bomb. If you guys get a chance to try it, I really recommend it. All right, so this is how it's looking. First bite. Mmm. Mm. I'm dropping it everywhere. Mmm. I wish I got a dipping bowl or something for the sauce because I feel like I'm wasting it. Mm. All right, let's get into the salad. That burrito, I, I feel like I don't really have to say much because you guys saw how I chowed that down. Like, it's just so freaking good. I don't know what it is that makes it different from other places. I feel like it's the way that their eggs are. It always tastes so fresh and the cheese is always melted. It's never dry because, oh, I remember the last time I had a breakfast burrito. It was a couple weeks ago and it was the worst burrito I ever had. The cheese was like, there was like no cheese, and it was just so dry. It was so dry that even when I doused it in ranch, it didn't do anything. Like, it was crazy. Okay. So this salad has chicken, bacon, cheese, avocado, and I feel like there's like cabbage, red cabbage, tomatoes. First bite of the first salad on my channel. <laughs> mm, -mm, -mm. 
Mm. Oh, we also had a boiled egg in here too, which is like my fave. It's all my hair. I'm actually enjoying the salad like who is she if you guys know me in person you guys know I used to be talking ish on salads I used to be like I'm never gonna get satisfied from a salad like it just doesn't do it for me but lately I find that with more ingredients that you incorporate into the salad it can totally satisfy but then the thing is with my appetite like the last time I ordered a salad I had a bunch of sprouts it was really good but then i did get hungry like 30 minutes later so <laughs> but i did eat less in my next meal so it helps a bit i wanted to tell you guys about my piercing story that i did yesterday because i told you guys i was gonna go get a piercing and i also love that lately whatever i say i'm gonna do i can confirm that i did it the next day because i feel like Something that I've been lacking with, I would tell myself to do something and then um, something will come up or I would get distracted by something else and then I would forget. And then so I kind of, I feel like each time I would do that, it gets easier to kind of like forget about what I wanted to do, you know. So is a, this practice in putting yourself first in order for you to just keep that standard for yourself. So anyways, I got pierced with my friend Amy. <laughs> we were supposed to get it together. That was like the original plan. And um, it was so funny. Well, honestly, it's not that funny, but I found a place really close by me and they're open really late and it was also very cheap too. I was like, okay. And um, <laughs> I need a burp. <sighs> we pulled up and I mean, I've gotten pierced a lot in my life. Like my ears used to be blinged out with all the, you know, the create, like, like the conches and the chagas and all those like and I had industrial and I, I just got pierced all the time and I had my lip pierced and then this th well these pierces on my face I actually pierced myself when I was younger my crazy self but I just know that when you go get a piercing the first thing the first thing they do is they check your ID and they have you sign some consent forms right you know that's just the, the normality the procedure that usually happens and dude like I was already sweating in the car because I, I'm not really scared of piercings, but I just haven't like had a new piercing since I started nursing school and I haven't gotten one for years. So, you know, I wasn't nervous mentally, but then I think physically my body was nervous for me because I was sweating, like my hands were sweaty and I was like, oh, I guess I am anxious. <laughs> and it was so funny because we go and he sits me into the room, the like the piercing room, and then 
he just asked me what I wanted and I told him and then I was just kind of waiting for him to like give me like a clipboard with papers and whatnot but he didn't ask for ID and I was like okay well I guess you know looking at me I am of age obviously so I was like whatever and then he turns around and like didn't even give me a sec like I didn't get any seconds to even like think of anything like because he turned around here and he had the purple pen like that's the marker that they mark you with and here he already marked it and I was like oh my god it's already happening like and I think I was kind of like in shock because I was just like bro like I like I couldn't even it was it was kind of crazy because it just happened so fast and sometimes when things happen really fast in front of me when it's not like something medically because medically I can do things but then like when it's like something as a like a piercing and no one's talking much he hasn't really he just asked me why I wanted it and that's all he communicated and then he turns around so okay first he turns around and it's the pen and then the second time he turns around it's the freaking needle already I was like oh my god like I literally just sat down for five seconds and we're doing it was it was ridiculous and then the crazy part of it all is that he did it it hurt nothing like as much as like I've just gotten pierced so much and I'm good with pain and whatever and I, I did bleed but I do have a lot of scar tissue because I already had this pierce on myself so it was kind of hard to even puncture but then the whole thing after it finished I realized like he didn't even wipe like he didn't even wipe my the site with alcohol like he didn't sanitize anything and I was like what the frick like I was just like what like it just happened I didn't say anything because I just I like I feel like I put too much stress into him and I was already so like I was sweating on my feet and my hands so I was already anxious enough and then I realized like afterwards I was like I don't think he was even wearing gloves like I asked my friend Amy she was sitting there but she was already anxious about getting hers and then later we realized that he wasn't even wearing gloves and I'm just like what the f that's like something I would literally point out usually but because I was so nervous it's just like like it didn't even cross my mind and then it's, it freaked her out like the quickness of how it happened freaked my friend Amy out so much that she didn't even go through with hers which I'm totally fine with I did not care that she didn't get it with me yesterday because I'd rather her go somewhere that they sterilize and where I don't know it was just not <laughs> I told and then like I was trying to play it on I was like yeah we'll come back like I'll give you a call because I was actually supposed to get my finger tattoos yesterday too. I am very, I'm having a really long talk. I'm sorry, guys. Let's just, um, I'll finish it after I finish this burrito. <laughs> I'm just going on and on. Mmm. I think I just ate an eggshell. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, as I was saying, what was I saying? Uh, dang, that's why I can't pause because sometimes I forget what I was saying. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was supposed to get finger tattoos right after my piercing as well because 
I, I wanted to get two more and I just wanted to get it both done in one thing but I'm glad that he said he didn't have time for it and I just realized like that is actually kind of a blessing because if you I feel like you didn't the piercing is healing greatly because I honestly don't get infected like I'm not I'm sorry I am not sensitive with piercings I rarely ever get infections and it's just how my body is so I, I wasn't even worried but I know if it was someone else it would probably get super infected but I was thinking like do I want my tattoos done by this guy even though they're super simple like super easy but I was just like just like no dude yeah so I'm kind of glad I didn't go through with it I still want to get my fingers tatted sometime this week Mm -mm. I freaking love avocado. I think when I was younger I didn't, but I've grown to love it. All right, that's my last bite. So I'm gonna go to the gym after this. I don't wanna to be too stuffed. Hmm. Let's get into the rating. One out of five, this meal was a five. I haven't had a full five on my mukbangs for some time now. Farmer Boys never has failed me ever, like never ever. And I just, I think the burrito, you know a burrito is good, when you can eat it without any sauce and it's still heavenly. That's when you know it is bomb. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Also turn on push notifications. And I'll see you next time. Peace.